I've never been this excited to post this deck profile on my channel. Steven, you're a freaking pendulum god, man. And I just want to personally say, Steven, if you're watching this video, uh, you are the best pendulum player. And shout out to you, brother, for topping YCS Syracuse, New Jersey. The only pendulum player to top 32. Anyway, guys, for those of you who do not know, Steven has a YouTube channel. Okay, make sure you guys check out this deck profile on Steven's channel and also there's gonna be a combo video coming up as well. Guys, I wanna personally help Steven hit 10,000 subscribers. Steven right now is at 4,000 something subscribers, 4,500, almost touching 5K. I want you guys to go down there right now and help Steven hit 10,000 subscribers. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description box below. Uh, and of course, shout out to my boy Slim and Johnny. I'll leave all their channels in the description box below. All right, guys, enough talking without further ado. Check out the 60 card pendulum deck profile by Steven Trivanowski. What's up, you guys? I'm here at YCS New Jersey with my boys, Joe Grizz, Asian Persuasion, you already know. And we are here with the one and only, the pendulum god. <laughs> shout out to Sam. He introduced this guy to us too. <laughs> Would you like to introduce yourself, sir? And I, shout out your YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, uh, uh, I am Steven Trifonoski from Triff Gaming, aka the Pendulum God, the <laughs> Pendulum Master, the one and only. I am Legend. Shout out Will Smith. <laughs> I am the greatest. For those of you who, who never seen my profile, I played 60 card pendulums today. What did I do? I talked. Top 60 30, card pendulums. Baby. Who said pens are dead? I Who didn't. said pens are dead? I did. At me. Because you don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh, okay? <laughs> 60 card pendulums, 4 negates, 5 negates, 6 negates, 7 negates every turn. Easy. Hand trap me? No problem. No problem. 3 negates. No problem. They can't do anything. Guys, you think pendulums are dead? Watch this video. It'll change your life, yo. It'll change your life. So, first of all, the greatest pendulum in history. Wisdom Eye Magician. Uh. It's all the magicians here. We play three of these. We play two of these and one of these. You don't need that big of a magician core. You only need enough that do, do all the job. Yeah. Three wisdom eyes. Harmonize is needed for a combo. I'll show you guys in the very end of the video, the combo where you have like an easy four negates through like the shittiest of hands. Yeah. But harmonize is neat. Like these are amazing. And then two of each of these, nothing's more needed. Poison's actually a guard net going first. And one of each of these, Black Fang's garbage. But you need a, a scale eight to add a pen call. And you play six pen calls. So you need all this, the perfect engine. That's Magicians. And then for the turbo cards, we got three Chronograph, three Cerberus, three Curtain Razor, and we got uh, four, one Foolish and three Shrine. Some people play one Foolish, one Shrine, but come at me, play 60 cards, and you can play come three. At me, bro. Come at me, bro. All these is 13, <laughs> and I side some more going first, but I'll get to that later. And then, uh, so that's it for the turbo cards and the plus cards. So the way you should play the deck now is the minimal amount of magicians because they're actually garnets. You just want them in the scale. You want them in the scale and that's it. You want them in the scale and you want a pen harmonizing. You don't want to draw too much of it. You want to see one or two or a pen call. No more. Anything else is just a brick. It's like drawing a heat turtle. Yeah. But they're level four, so whatever. So that's the most you should play. Next, the plus cards. These are very important. Three Rambuku mm. and Nekomano. One card Totem Bird. One card plus, 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 everything pluses. It's not a normal summon, it's not normal or special. So you loop Chrono, the whole point of the deck. Draw one of the 13 I just showed you, or one of the 16 going first, because I have three showing, uh, uh, three in the side deck that I'll show later. But you draw one of those 16 or 13, and you win the duel. Because you send a Chrono to extra, special the Chrono, special one of the thousand plus cards I'm about to show you guys, and you get infinite pluses. You get infinite Electrums, and infinite fodder for the Electrums, then you just destroy their life. So <laughs> these are the magic specters, more pluses. Then we got three Dark Worm, two zero. Drawing Dark Worm is not the worst because you could just normal summon and get a plus. It's a plus one. Like it's uh, so this part of it. So drawing these are not Garnets. Even drawing this is not a Garnet. There's no such thing as a Garnet in a Pendulum deck. There's only such thing as Garnets and Trick Stars because the whole deck is Garnets. So they can't do anything. So you draw this, pop it with Electro, lit. Like you could have the greatest card in your, you draw the greatest card in your deck, pop it with Electro and do the same thing as this. You just want anything to pop and then you keep going. And then this, 3DD Kepler and a Thomas. Why? Because Kepler add contract. Contract add Thomas. Thomas add Kepler. Plus three for free. Would you ever need any of these cards? No. But you special electro, <laughs> pop, pop a card, so it's one of the three. Special chrono, special the, the Kepler, and now you got the fodder for free. You got the fodder for free. Remember when Astrograph? Astrograph was a plus three. 
Because I still grab you with a loop it three times in one turn if you follow my four negate build, yeah. or if you're an idiot and played like uh, Starving Venom FTK, then don't watch this video. <laughs> Go away, I don't like you. But <laughs> this, you, Astrograph was never banned like this because you get the plus three off of Kepler. Yeah. If you don't hard draw the Kepler, you send it with Electrum. And if you hard draw a Chrono or a Kepler, you get a plus three. So Astrograph actually never left the deck, which is why I destroyed everyone today. Nice. And then three of Doctor because you play 18 spells, plus three Chronograph, which leaves the scale is 21, plus three Curtain Razor, leaves the scale 24. You play 24 spells in the deck, Three Kepler searches a spell, 27 spells. So you play 27 spells. Um, every time I drew a Doctor, I resolved this effect. And it's unbelievably broken, especially if it's Brandish, which is literally the entire meta. You put it in your scale. I got even lead one game. I got even lead. I got sphere moded. And then I got even lead. I got sphere moded and then I got even lead. I had 20 people watching the game. I left an abductor. I left an abductor. The guy didn't, he's an idiot. He didn't pop my abductor even though he could have. He wanted, he was very greedy. He wanted to get some more pluses with engage and stuff. Yeah. So I left my abductor. Because I'm the god, I drew Duelist Alliance. <laughs> Duelist Alliance get Pendulum Call. Abductor, get Dark Worm. Pen oh, Call, Dark Worm. And you already know the rest, I OTK'd him. You killed him, that's your Then, re one Rescue Hamster. I go to Rescue Hamster every duel. Every duel. You don't need three, because you only want to use the Banish effect. The normal effect is like a bonus. Banish, a bro, Wisdom Eye. Put two Wisdom, uh, like, just get two in there. Hamster get scales for three. Yeah, Hamster's yeah. key. One or three, no matter what. One Luster, only because you play Triple Duelist Alliance, so you need any monster in the deck that says Pendulum. And also because he's an OG. He's an OG. I was about to play Pendulum before I'm Sorcerer with no other Pendulum as targets, just because I love him. I decided last second Luster will help out. He, he, he's a, he was a good addition. And two Jackal for Cerberus. And when you get trolled, people say, what do you do in your troll, bro? I say, bro, learn how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Because you just said Jackals, <laughs> said Jackals with Electrum, and you get free Monster Negates. Yeah. Sure, I, I like two free Macabas on board for nothing, like, yeah, no problem. Then you, you do that with your, you play a Magic Specters, remember? Because you're you're the GOAT, you play Magic Specters. So you get a free Totem Bird. So you got Totem Bird and Jackals through a Droll, no negate, problem. Like, yeah. what are you going to do to two Monster Negates and a, and a Negate it evenly? You can't do nothing. So the spells, we have the two, those all the monsters, the two contracts I talked about earlier, the Foolish and Three Shrines I talked about earlier, and then every draw card known in Yu-Gi-Oh! Existence, that's good. Three Desires, three Allures. And then three Pen Call and three Duelist Alliance. So you have six Pen Calls, and if you happen to on too many spells, you want more monsters in your hand, Duelist Alliance get Luster Pendulum, and then, so it's, it's lit. And then Pen Call, always do your best to have a harmonizing hand. I'll explain a combo later where uh, any two sevens and any two fours equals four new gates and three, two, three cards in hand plus full scales and a set desires. Yeah. Or like any spell card you have. Set desires, set pen call, because uh, of Griffin. And it's like too good. Like, I, got, I got evenly five times this whole tournament. Five times. Five. Not once, not two times, not three times, not four, five. Yeah. Wanna know what happened all those five times? You won. I won all five. You won all five. I won all five. Tell me a pendulum deck that could win five times getting sphere moded. And at four of those five, I swear on my life, I swear on the Almighty God, Kirin, that <laughs> rest in peace. Rest in peace. I swear that four of those five, after the sphere moon, I got evenly. I still won. Still won, baby. <laughs> I still won. I'm undefeated. Never lost. Shout out, Lamar. Sixty card break. Sixty card. Sixty card perfection. Thanks. Now side deck. Three speedroid passing guard. Want to well, know the only thing I sided the whole tournament? This. These nine cards, I didn't even side once. Yeah, red reboot. So don't even worry about these ones. Don't even you don't even need these. <laughs> Just these. Just Point first, the it's a free photon thrasher. You play 16 instead of 13. Will you now have 16 win conditions? Sure. 16 exodias. Like next. I don't, really don't need more main decks, so it's perfect, so I have three extra deck cards. Tornado and Omega. I was a monkey and I didn't main deck Tornado Dragon, so I left it in the side deck for anti-spell, and then just the, this for cherries, this for anti-spell. Going second, you play this. Going first, you play this. And there's always in the extra deck, one or two cards that are only good going first or going second, so you just switch them out. And then the literally the MVP of the whole extra deck after Electrum, Cowboy. Oh, <laughs> Cowboy. Who hey, knows how many games I won with Cowboy. Did you go? The extra. Enough set. <laughs> Enough set. Stick Electro to the game line. plan. Stick to the game plan. Game plan Three right. Electrums, Firewall in the middle, Exodia, <laughs> Nightmare Goblin, Underclock Taker. Goblin is probably the next card I'm taking out, but it's still good because it's a free card and it's uh, having the arrows helps out a lot. 
Metaltron because when you brick or when they open Infinity Hand Traps, you go Metaltron and then Pen 3, Harmonize, you still get 5 monsters. Firewall because, again, enough said. Griffin, <laughs> enough said. Every single turn is Griffin, Firewall, Jackal, Vortex. So those are it's the four cards I do that I think is an auto win. It, it's absolutely unstoppable for any deck to break unless they're playing Draco. And if they're playing Draco, I just go a Dweller instead. So that's auto win itself. Yeah. It, Dweller passes auto win itself. So that's all. That's the end board uh, with the the Jackal and the thing. Then Totem Bird because you, you, you play Bambuku and Cat. Uh, at the end of the day, Totem Bird and two Jackals is game as well. Why overthink things? If I see that, I just like, bro, I'm not gonna stop wasting time. He's gonna summon two Jackal and Totem Bird and you still win. Time Star because needed for the combo, I'll explain later. Dweller because Dweller. I uh, would rather Tornado though. Uh, Naruto, uh, these, and then Ignister. I only play Ignister in case I uh, face a bunch of dudes playing Kuki that don't know how to extra link. So I would just take care of the Nightmares and then I uh, win. But I'm taking this over Borla. So that's the extra. I feel like Usain in the cheetah print. Uh talk fresh game i don't need a minute uh, r.i.p the game Shh, i need a minute uh, okay let's proceed with it i'm in the house got the deed with it these bozos always sneak this and they take a shots i'm a key with it like no no this league business Ooh, you